what I'd like to share. Who is a top-notch blaster? Yep. Gentlemen, right, right here. By me. <laughs> I, I met all of them together at the same me. place at, at Northern High, and they were just people in the class. But in our present class at the University of Michigan, which we just finished last Friday, he was our assistant, number one assistant, and she was Lucien's number one assistant. Oh. See, uh, number one male assistant. <laughs> don't call me <laughs> number one. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 that's more. That we did the same thing. All the ones who prepared the, oh, the therapy. Uh, since, since you're so attentive, I'll give you a, an idea of what fresco is. Fresco is painting a wet lime wall. We plaster three coats. I won't give it the, the uh, dimension. You can get them from him or from me or from her or from her. Never mind. And he has a book and she has books on how to do this stuff. But invite us and we'll give you a cost <laughs> analysis. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you have three coats. On the third coat, you enlarge a sketch similar to this. See? You can't see what it is, but people generally don't know what it is anyway, even if they can read it. Yeah, <laughs> you have to experience it before okay. it all translates yeah, like I, a book. That, I will tell you, this is north, north of Point Arena and this is south of Point Arena. And this is the ocean currents where we live. And if you wanted to put this on your wall in the kitchen or bedroom or wherever, <laughs> we'd, be, we'd be happy we'd to. Love to do it. <laughs> We enlarge, we enlarge the sketch on the third coat, just like Rivera did the DIA. We telescoped it with our students because we only had two weeks. So we enlarge the sketch. Uh, just, uh, between the three, the four of us, it was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord! You don't want to do that to a student. But we slept through it, so to speak. We winked through it. The students didn't know there was any difference except <laughs> you never do it that way again. <laughs> they have a they have a, a dean, and she's a very smart woman. Yes, she is. <laughs> now, let me put it this way: that's wrong. She's nope. a very smart dean. I don't care whether she's a woman or not. Right. Got nothing to do with there that. She's a very smart dean, and she hired us on the say so of somebody who heard this lecture. Did you know that? John Rush. John Rush. Yeah. John Rush, I'm um, telling you, it, it's not so much the deed as John Rush. John Rush is responsible for us being there. And uh, we had 14 students. We're supposed to have 16, but we winked at that <laughs> a little bit. We did a little white lie by saying that two of the choir brothers could come in. Mm -hmm. Uh, they had personal problems. They still got them. <laughs> They're in jail. That's right. <laughs> Who's in jail? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> so it's, 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 so, it's so embarrassing. <laughs> it's so embarrassing to us four. We don't know which way to turn. Lucien <laughs> and I had. They're our best men in Bulgaria. The best man is almost part of the family. Oh, exactly. But that's no way to handle best man. This is ridiculous. This. Uh, uh, Oh, wait. And Let's forget that. Yes. So, <laughs> we have these people, and we actually teach them how to plaster. Mm -hmm. Up to the third coat, just forget, we telescope a lot of coats. They outline the sketch, and the sketch looked terrible. Because nobody, see, we kept telling them, you've got to bring us a sketch this big or however in color. If you don't bring it to us in color, and in watercolor, because this is a watercolor technique, we can't help you. And I don't remember, I don't remember one person bring us no. a color sketch. Who? Well, no, I don't remember no one did. Wait, 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 way back there in the back, you didn't see it. No. <laughs> oh. Because I don't remember and How could you help a person? How could you criticize what they're painting if you don't have something to measure to? Mm. But we had a lit. picture of a car. They got a Ford. They had a picture of a Ford. That's the only And we knew that was the only one. one. The Ford was going to go in. We yeah. knew that. Anyway. So, the yeah. only trouble is Carol. Yes. Oh. Carol, Carol kept sitting on our duff and wouldn't get out of there and give her a chance to paint. Carol was... Oh, God. Let's not discuss this. <laughs> was Carol a photographer? No. Carol, no, was one, no of one of the students. Carol is a student who says, you know, my father held a flag at your mother's funeral. And I said, who the hell is this guy? Oh, okay. Father. 
Then she gives me a, a few other things, uh, sort of a song in dance, what he had done when he was a young man. Then I found out who he was. He was a union organizer up oh, there. Oh, I didn't know that. I know. Oh, now I know. But don't tell her that. I happen to think he's a union I don't think she knew that he was a union organizer the way I know he was a union organizer. <laughs> <laughs> he was on the left side of the union. <laughs> and those you don't mention today. Wow. Those are the names we don't mention. We remember. just mention them union organizers and forget it. Okay. Well, Carol spoiled everything. Not, not she didn't really spoil No, but she's that, difficult. But, but the, the other folks, the other that's students Carol. were so polite, but Carol wasn't. And that's... You see, and I'm a little taken aback. I don't know how you and Debbie felt, but eh, what what do you do when the person Funny who refused lady. to get up from a chair and keeps on painting on somebody who somebody else is supposed to paint? Yes. This and is painting painting on somebody else's. Yes. She, well, it had she been was very difficult. difficult. She, yeah, Jane she said, "Debbie, please let me paint the chair." And I said, "Okay." okay. And then yeah. I had to go away to talk to phone. And it was a long phone call, and I came back. Somebody else was it the was it the strike one? The strike was no, it was a yeah, wicked, wicked looking woman with a wicked chair. They turned out good though. Now, like the wicked woman. I like the yeah. wicked child. Yeah. Here we have, but yeah, Carol did that. We outlined the, the, on the third quote. We outlined the sketch, which is like this, except it's outlined in red. One difficult. Then we trace just a little part, like this. We trace it on tracing paper. We take the tracing paper off and we plaster just that one part. We're supposed to plaster two coats. We plaster one coat, but we have ventilators. And I was a very extreme. I, I plastered for at least 30 frescoes. I don't know, seven or eight of Diego's and 19 of 20 of Lucien's. And I couldn't take advantage of this. I didn't know how the hell I was going to do it. So oh. And folks, with the, with the if you ever go into Western Michigan, you're going to see the most <laughs> terrible plastering you ever no. saw. Well, I, well, I think it's the students. It, plus, it was students coming at it, no, making little. No, no, no. Uh, I, 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 well, we, what happened is we didn't water it enough because yeah. yeah. this thing kept picking it off. You have to remember. I think it should be said that we had the last time was two weeks before with. Plastered for walls painted in Northern California. Wait, let me. I'll tell that story so we'll play while you're drawing. Mm. <laughs> we uh, a week before we came to um, Michigan, we had a class through the California Arts Council. If you come to California, you're going to pay 20 percent, and that 20 percent on your motel goes to the California Arts Council. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, yeah, that I is. think that's great. Please come to California. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Michigan. many people, dancers, uh, name them. There's 15 different activities, plus fresco painters who get a crack at this. Oh, it's well paid. Not overly well paid. It's, it's paid well mm -hmm. enough. And the California Arts Council does this, and uh, the people who are in there uh, know their business. Mildred, what was the last name? That's making it. Mildred came and saw it. We, we were working for the College of the Redwood, and the College of the Redwood was very intelligent. It salted the place. There were 30 people, and we only had 12 students. And 30 people were making motions, and Mildred came in and said, Oh my God, you mean to tell me we're paying for all of this that's going on here? As soon as she left, the next week, there was only 12. 12. <laughs> that's called salting. They do that in California. But I'm sure I'm she's intelligent enough to know exactly what was going on. But that's beside the point. So, on this third coat, we have the outline, we take it off, we plaster what coat we, we, we float it, we make it rough up to a certain... This is all smooth. Yes. I don't know you have. <laughs> I'll tell you, it's as rough as the surface yeah. of one of these crackers. Mm -hmm. This surface. Is this rough, rough really? It should be. And then you wait about half an hour. Then you plastic yeah. two coats. There's two. These, this thickness here is two coats. Okay. Wet. And then, wet. then you polish it. Then you start painting. Mm -hmm. This is only paint while it's moist. Oh, wow. And you test it with the back of your hand because it has no oil. This part has oil. This part has no oil. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, 
most of the students forgot, but that's making it. Uh, <laughs> flat palms, well, flat open. When the air conditioning is going, that was when we drove Carol from the room. We all yelled at her and she yeah. ran out. Well, she, she, went went she went home. Yeah. Yeah. You can't even touch it because it'll so, take the oil right off your hand. So you have this. Here. It's polished, but you, but uh, your teacher says, "Well, what do you mean? You can't. It's too wet. You can't." So you go out and have lunch. You come back. And you ask the teacher, is this ready? I, I can't, because the students can't tell the difference between one another. And then finally the teacher says, yeah, you can start. Sure. So you start, and you paint so long as it's moist. Which from? One or two o'clock until four o'clock. Yeah, this would last a couple, two hours. That's it. Three and hours. And the colors are all oxides of metals, which means you can, you can get them from the, top, uh, the side of any hill. You can get them in the state of Virginia as a whole bunch of different ones. A lot of them come from Pozzuoli, a little town in Italy. Venice, Venetian red comes from Italy. Mexico, uh, Amagre Morado comes from Italy, uh, from uh, Mexico. Uh, Bull's blood comes from, um, also wine, but the same name comes from Hungary. You can have the wine or the color you have a choice. <laughs> now, if you don't, I mean, if you don't get this done in the allotted time, then while it's still it. moist, that's it. That's you, it. you can you tell it off <laughs> and blast it tomorrow. You, Start you again. chop away. They'll paint as far as they can and then cut the edge. Oh, I see. And go on tomorrow. You join it. That's the Trinato. When you were okay, when you were working with Rivera at CIA, and you were doing this, I mean, we're talking woho. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, he didn't have air conditioning. I don't know when he was, what was time of year he rolled it. It wasn't heated. It wasn't heated. No. Froze to death. Really? It was that cold. It, 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 we froze to death. <laughs> you didn't have to worry well, about the plastic setting now. Oh, so it won't <laughs> set. Oh, so it'll take longer to set. How did you stream from it? What is You go as far as you he, he was there. You went as far as you could go, and then you had to start over with the... Well, we described Detroit. Diego has done something. That's to say about 11, 12 o'clock at night. And there is Nindorf. And I'm way out there in the, in the shadows. You don't see me. And Halberstadt or Sanchez Flores is with Nindorf. So there's three of them there. And there's a lot of gibberish in Spanish and French. Well, you got to know one of the two languages because Diego yeah. spoke terrible English. So you, you listen to them. Pretty soon you begin used to that, the words they use. And Diego will take a piece of charcoal and says, I want this much done for tomorrow. So Nindorf nods his head, and Sanchez Flores has a great big 48-inch tracing paper, very thin yellow, but the kind of architect use what they call talking paper. It has no grease on it. Paper is very cheap. You put it on there, take them off the one, and Diego walks away to go home. Probably three that's down there waiting and swearing at them. <laughs> yeah, so they, so they, arm in arm, they go out, and uh, if Halberstadt is not there, he'll, uh, Niedorf will say to me, okay, Dimmy. So I go down to the third basement. Detroit Institute of Arts has four basements. From the, from the street level, there's four basements. The things in the lowest basement are the things that people have donated plus a lot of money, they'll never see the light of day. Excuse my French, but they're pure crap. Well. But the museum has to take up to get the money. Well. That's all. On the next level, there's some very good things, and at a certain time, they'll show up once. And the, the, <laughs> the, the homes, or the groups of these families are very happy they're showing. They're welcome to the people, you know. On the third one, is where we used to work. There was a, why did we work there? There was a drain. And when I got there, they had a piece of wood. But it was, it was about two inches, and it, the, the, as you we had to clean our, our marble dust, we bought marble dust, which wasn't cleaned properly, so we had to put water through it. And when the water comes out, what comes out with the water was a very fine marble dust, which is like flour, and it'll do away with your drain in no time. So I watched, I have to tell you, you thought this was a tour of nine acres. So I watched the water go over, and I said, my boy, this drain isn't going to last very long. 
So I went to one of the people upstairs. I said, look, I need a four inch, not much higher, to hold back all the sand possible so that only pure water goes over the top to go in the drain. And of course, Sanchez Flores was very happy that I suggested that. Then I started washing marble dust. It really didn't have to be marble dust, but when you pay $25,000, you use marble dust. You didn't care. So uh, I would be down there washing the stuff during the day. I would spread it around. And by in two days, it would be dry. And I would again put that in, in uh, special piles. What I'm trying to tell you is what I had to do without knowing exactly why I was doing it until months later. Then I would mix two parts of, say, number 16 gauge me, those of you who wear stocking, denier. 16 denier, 16 holes to the inch. In marble dust, only that marble dust that goes through 16 is usable. Mm. Then we have another one, which is 12. We take that stuff, we put it through a 12. Only that which goes through the well, 12 is used, and the rest is thrown away. So we use a lot of marble dust. It was very cheap in 1933. It was dirt cheap. And lime was dirt cheap. Today, the stuff, one, got one sack of uh, white Portland cement, when I say the word Portland, you ought to be paid for this lecture. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. When I say Portland is the name of an island off the British coast, in which a lot of the, of the, of the stone that was used to make the cement is from the Isle of Portland. Not Portland, name of Portland cement. But anyway. White Portland cement means that it was it was uh, heated to a such a degree that 180 denier has to go through 180 denier. That's awfully fine. It's, it's finer than flour. Why? Because when that cement hits water, it, it just is perfect for our particular purpose. But the cement needs a little aggregate. It needs something a little rougher than itself. Yeah, I never thought I could explain it this well. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> you need something that's than itself to be able to be tougher than itself. By itself, cement doesn't mean anything cracked. But you put a load of gravel, oh boy, it's tough. And then, after you, after the Rivera went home, we traced the piece, we plastered one coat, we went out and had breakfast at the White, Ca White Castle hamburgers. <laughs> That's right. Spiders. It's wonderful. I <laughs> just don't know how delicious it is. Uh, you have nothing else. Delicious. When you're hungry. Yeah, when you're hungry. In 1932, it was, uh, it, it was fantastically it wonderful. Anyway, you come back and you plaster the final coat which you polish. You polish it so it's like this. And then you call Diego. By this time, it's 4 o'clock in the morning. It took us about five or six hours to do this, I'd say uh, six by five, 20 square feet. Six by, about this much. And they was gonna paint this in one setting. So we polished up nicely. All I did was get the stuff from the third basement or fourth basement, whichever one. want. Take it over to the lean door, and you put the water on very carefully. You two folks know all about it. Then he waits a while, and he puts it's another right. batch, and he peels it this way and that way in every which direction. And he says, okay, yeah. Jimmy, give me number four. So I dump it out on something that's 24 by 24, and he mixes it up, to make sure that I've done the right job. No assistant trusts the other assistant. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really, I was just going to say. No, no, they oh, we don't trust true. each other. I could have been asleep or whatever. Uh, I mean, a cigarette butt could have fallen in it. That's, yeah, that's not permissible. So, then he starts plastering. Yeah, he did, that's more. You've seen me plaster when I was in good mood. This guy was 10 times better than I was. You yourself oh. must have been wonderful when, they, when you got a chance and you were in a good mood mm -hmm. and the wall was just right. You have a wonderful feeling. One you do that, you, so you take a piece of wood or a piece of cork and you float it. You even it up. It's always true. And you go and have breakfast. In San Francisco, we have this, uh, what is this place? Denny's. Denny's, we have here. Yeah, we have Denny's here. Because I am over 50 or 60. Oh. 